In this video, I will demonstrate a commonly used effect, a corner pin, which is used to replace the content of screens and other flat surfaces in video. I will be doing the effect both in Blackmagic Fusion Studio, the paid version, as well as Nuke Non-Commercial. This is the end result we are going for. I will be starting with this shot of a laptop screen. What makes this a little more challenging is that the screen itself is dark. I found that the typical planar tracking tools didn't work with this flat, dark image. Instead, I had to manually track the corners. One advantage of this image, however, is that there is a small amount of glare that moves on the screen as the camera position changes. By using a blend mode of screen instead of over, this glare will appear to still be present over the video. I will use this footage of trees blowing as the background of the replacement image. And this footage of a woman overlaid on that. Since I have the commercial version of Fusion, I use the Primat keyer, which did a rather nice job after just clicking the auto button. Nuke is the non-commercial version, but I was able to get a reasonable key with key light, but it was far from being automatic. Within Fusion, I ended up creating this setup. The laptop footage goes into a tracker, which I use to track the four corners of the image. Placing this tracker into corner pin mode then tells it to place the foreground image into the tracked shape. I brought both of the other pieces of footage in and scaled them down to the HD resolution of the laptop scene. The Primat keyer pulls the woman off of the green screen and onto the background of the trees blowing in the wind. I added a defocus node to try and match the slightly soft image of the laptop footage. This B spline, Boolean, and Alpha Multiply shrink the edges and corners of the image slightly since I tracked the exact corners. The end result shows the combined scene playing on the laptop. The tracking isn't perfect, and it's a little bit difficult to correct poor tracks in Fusion. The Nuke setup is similar. Although Nuke has a tendency to spread things across more nodes, the tracking process was quite similar except that Nuke's tracker makes more difficult tracks much easier to do. I recommend reading or following tutorials on keyframe tracking in Nuke. Nuke will interpolate between manually set keyframes and tends to do a much better job than the more simplistic tracking available in Fusion. Since Primat is only available in the commercial version of Nuke, I use the Keylight keyer. It took a little more tweaking to get something acceptable, and the end result was never quite as good but it is acceptable at the size given. As an additional feature, I animated the defocus amount to try and match the softness of the laptop as it changes throughout the video. The end result is similar to the Fusion Comp. A few things are better because this is the second time I've done the effect. The tracking is better because Nuke's tracker is more powerful. And if I wanted to produce the best result, I would probably run the key through Fusion and do the tracking and comping in Nuke. Finally, here are both comps shown together.